All right, good morning. It is Sunday morning, really early. It's probably, the sun is just rising. It's 6.30 probably. We got up at six and we're gonna try to get out of here. We, that's our buddy's Kevin's boat and we were on his boat last night just having um, just some drinks and some food. And he gave us the idea, him and his friend gave us the idea that if we wanted to do half of the trip home today and then half of it Monday, that way we don't get in super late Monday, we could go to Molokai and we could anchor in this really protected anchorage. It's just been very windy in the islands right now, so this anchorage might be windy but definitely protected from swell. So we're gonna go do that today. I don't know the mileages like of how close it is, but it's on the tip of Molokai closest to Oahu. So I'm thinking it's gonna be probably 10-ish hours. So I'm trying to get an early start now so that we can get there have the evening there kind of relax drop anchor before it gets dark have dinner and then do the second part of the trip monday so that's what we're gonna do we did enjoy this anchorage we all slept like babies this was probably my favorite anchorage we've been to so far in maui out of the two i guess <laughs> out of the two this one was my favorite this one was really really good so all slept like absolute babies and relaxed and we're really recharged and ready to go today crazy is we only have 2.9 knots of wind right now in this anchorage which is crazy when we pulled in yesterday we had 25 yeah well, he's pulling it up I don't even have the motor on Seth do you want me to turn the motor on uh, yeah. okay. that I missed a step See if the wind shifts, hopefully it does, or else we're going to be tacking trying to go into wind all the way back up to our anchorage. Um, so we'll see how that goes once we're around the corner, but we're almost there. Woo! Making good time. Yep. We are 
just had lunch and we are in the Lee now of Lanai. And what was nice is yesterday we actually spent um, the evening and had dinner with um, our friend Kevin on his Catalina 47 and we didn't actually get to eat our pizza. So we ha bagged up all of our pizza and we've been eating our pizza that we made yesterday on this passage, which has been great because this is gonna be a longer passage. It's gonna be all day. So we got to have some fuel just because it's been very rolly today in terms of, um, I think you wouldn't want to be down below. So we got to have some lunch kind of pre-prepped for us, which is great. We're now in the Lee of Lanai and we did like officially like a little bit more than half of the trip because it's 60 miles, we probably did a little over 30. The second part of the trip is going to be interesting because we have to kind of see what the wind's going to do. The last bit was a little bit more predictable, but now we got to curve around this island and head right to our anchorage and it should be interesting. The anchorage that we're going to is going to be a little bit different of an anchorage. It's going to be like muddy, dirty water, very protected though, but it's uh, military like I think it's man-made military, so it's not going to be like as beautiful, but it's going to be a safe refuge for us to stay tonight, and then tomorrow we can get up and get back to Oahu. So, pretty cool though. This island is gorgeous, and we're just going like four knots right now with maybe 10, 15 knots of wind. In the lee, and soon the lee will be gone and we will be faced with the wind again. <laughs> have entered the channel between Lanai and Molokai and we are just going straight towards our destination. The wind has kind of stayed the same, still in maybe the 30s, sometimes it dips into the 20s, but the waves have picked up in the channel, um, which I actually rather prefer the waves to be bigger than the wind to get higher. I don't know, I just feel like it's better, so I don't know. Anyways, we are about 10 nautical miles, we're going to make it by sunset, which is perfect. We we'll should be there in about two hours, maybe 5.30 less than that. I feel like we've been going... Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Water in the cockpit. <laughs> Don't want to get it on the camera. We're going to make it in probably by 5.30ish timeline, which will be good. We're hoping that it's protected. We've heard from word on the water is that it's a good anchorage. So we are going to get ourselves there, protect overnight, and just in about two hours we'll anchor. Very muddy there, anchor-wise, so should hold it's just gonna make a mess on our anchor and our chain. <laughs> Anything you need to say about it? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Anything and we're you need back to... at it tomorrow. Yep, and we'll be back at it tomorrow, bright and early, putting in the work and getting home. So how many islands can we see? We have not our plan was to see Maui and ideally step foot on Maui. Yet we have seen so many islands and have not been on land one time. We have just Anytime we left this boat, it was either to swim or get on Kevin's boat. So we have not been on land, but the weather's just been kind of funky. So we've just been kind of sailing and moving and getting into spots that are just more protected and just kind of on the go a lot. But we got to see whales, which has been great. So that's the word and we'll be there soon. This is going. Great, we just got into our anchorage, pretty protected. That's the entrance, which I will tell you about shortly, but pretty good little area, good bay size. Definitely, I don't think five boats would fit in here, but we are protected for the night. And we only have like 17 knots right now, so that's pretty good. We're in this little cove. This is the entrance that we came into, and we hit some gnarly waves on the way in that we were surfing. What happened? Yeah, come close. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta tell the tragic story. 
So we're coming in, and before we enter the channel, we saw waves crashing to the side, so we we're thinking, no worries. So we're coming in, and uh, Seth's about to turn over to Natalia, and here comes a big wave, and I'm the only person facing towards the... The, stern of the, the stern. boat. <laughs> yeah, so I said, oh, there's a big wave. They both turn around and this big wave just comes. Like a 20-foot like, crusher. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, water just filled the bottom of the boat and it just pushed us into here. But We like surfed. Then there was a second one after that. Yeah, we surfed back back. into here. Yeah, there's two. There was that first one hit and I had seconds to just like ride it out and make sure it didn't push us up against the rocks because you got boulders on either side of us and then I was just preparing for the second one because we kept looking back and we knew the second one was coming same thing and then after that we were like all right we're in <laughs> yeah we it's not that big. yeah it's it's not a big opening and boy those like I'm talking 20 foot cresters fill the cockpit with water and just we surfed between those two rocks like we were like John John Florence and now look at it. And now look at it. Calm, calm. is calm, calm, cool, and collected. We came in the eddy, literally. <laughs> <laughs> Massive eddy type wave. Oh, look at this thing. Wow, that's white. All right, guys, it's 641 and it's Monday, President's Day. And we are going to get out of this anchorage. This was a great anchorage. It's super protected. We were the only boat here. But this is the entrance yesterday that we had some trouble getting in because of just like massive waves. I don't see anything now, but we can hear them on the other side of the break wall. So I just want to get out of this anchorage <laughs> before any waves come or, I mean, they're not in the entrance, but they're on the sides of the entrance that we can see right now. So I just want to get out of this entrance because I can't imagine yesterday's but reversed because coming out of the, like coming into the anchorage, riding the waves, we were like coming into this anchorage basically like, nine ten knots of boat speed because of those waves were just massive going into those waves would just be i mean that would be i mean detrimental to the boat so i don't see anything right now but i think seth's gonna pull up the anchor and then hopefully i'm just gonna kind of do like slow circles in here and then he can come back and we can kind of go out together because i don't want to be in control if there's a, a big boy wave coming and and we're going into it so great anchorage held really good again it's just kind of more of industrial but there was like a little beach over here that we could have went to again we just every night have just kind of come in crashed and then got to sailing this has been more of a sailing trip and like seeing the coastline versus like going on land so once we get out of this anchorage we are basically right on the tip of Molokai we're gonna dart across the channel to like Diamond Head and that will be the full channel that we're crossing so there's going to be really no leaves to hide behind but i think the weather is supposed to be better today than it was yesterday but yesterday we made really good speed we were cruising at like six seven knots the whole time so this is about half the trip we're going to still try to make it in by sunset and then we'll be home all right Whew, this is the part that i'm the most nervous about i woke up last night thinking about this because those waves were so big <laughs> It's out. Moth's out. That moth was in our <laughs> moth. Out. It's so big. It's like the size of a bird. <laughs> that was so big. Okay, I don't know if you saw that moth, but we had a moth come in the size of like a bat or a small bird. And it came in this morning and it just came out, but that was so big. It was like a big black moth. Um, I thought it was a bat. It was so big. So anyways, that's out of there. So now we just have to get out. The moth's gone get out of this like little uh, anchorage this is a good one though I'd recommend this one if you're ever here and you need to like really shelter from protection the issue is just those waves I don't know if anybody else if you've ever been here or if I, I should probably look at some forums see if those waves are an issue for anybody else but I don't know but great anchorage
start reeling. <laughs> Let's start reeling. Oh, right when we get off the coast of. This is a big boy. Is it a big boy? Yep. Oh boy. Right off the coast of Oahu. I was sleeping. <laughs> I was I was literally here resting. Where are we at? Right off the coast of Oahu. Don't catch anything all weekend. Get back home. Catch one. <laughs> We were going at seven, six knots. I guess it's the good. I don't know if it's a mahi though, dog. Is that, is it a tuna? I see our lure though. It's been tuna, folks. That's a shibi, not a nahi. Yeah, not a nahi, it's a shibi because it's under 100 pounds is what we learned. Shout out to the guy at P.O.P. It's a really cool blue fin tuna. Wow, that's crazy. That's cool looking. Oh man. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh yeah, you fit. Oh, that's a thick boy. Oh, he's not even fighting. So it's super messy. Oh man, that's a lot of blood. All of our lines. You think this is a lot of blood? <laughs> Good night. It's a so war boring. zone over here. I know. The poor fish. But this is better than the Mahi, I guess. Crazy. Look at the color of that. Guys, look at that. That's wild. That's a gorgeous fish. We can take the roller coaster. So we caught a tuna today. We did some easily downwind sailing and made good time. We are now just pulling into the harbor uh, channel. So we probably got about 45 minutes left of the trip before we're in the slip, but we are on the home stretch. It was a good day out on the water. We saw some whales. No complaints. Yeah. It was a good day. It was a good day. Good trip. Good Ended trip. off with some whales and the tuna. Your first tuna. How do you feel about it? Pretty good. <laughs> All right, so we are back from our Maui trip and I just cut up the tuna. So this is all of the fresh tuna that we caught. I got rid of the scraps, like with like any blood parts or like little veiny things. And this is all the meat. So this is a pretty big bowl. I'm going to cook up some of it now and then freeze some of it so that we have some tuna for another day. Let's give it a whirl, see how it is. I'll let you know, taste test. Is it fishy? Is it not fishy? Do we like mahi better? Do we like tuna better? I'm thinking we're gonna like mahi better just because it's just like the best fish that I've ever had, but this needs to be tried. But look at this. Look at all that meat in there. It's like so deep in color too. It's pretty good. Pretty excited about it. Pretty happy about it. Let us know if you like bluefin tuna, yellowfin tuna, if they taste the same, or mahi. Okay, so it's taste testing time. It's very, very simple. It's literally rice, green pepper, and tuna. And I'm gonna put a little bit of coconut aminos on, which is like soy sauce. And I'm gonna give it a whirl. It's a very simple meal. It's not anything extravagant with like fresh fish, like tacos or whatever. It's just very basic, but I just am kind of tired and we had a long weekend, so I just kind of want something simple and easy. Let's see how it is. I don't know. I have mixed feelings. <laughs> I feel like the mahi is less fishy. Mm, still good though. Definitely good. What I do like about the mahi though is I feel like it melts in your mouth. 
this one doesn't melt in your mouth as much as like I feel like the mahi did. I feel like the mahi just like melted even when cooked. I'm pretty good. Would you give it an 8 out of 10? Or more? Higher? Compared to mahi. Oh, I think they're both good. Yeah, I know. They're both good. I think I prefer mahi better, but this is still pretty good. Definitely worth catching though. Oh yeah, for sure. I thought it was going to be more fishy than it was. I give it 8 out of 10. Do you agree or would you give it higher? Just because Mahi's a 10 out of 10, so I got a halves. Thank you so much for watching our multi-day island hop to explore Maui, Lanai, and Molokai. If you haven't already, make sure that you like this video and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our future posts. And as always, we wanted to extend a wonderful thank you to our patrons. They're such an awesome community and we are so grateful for their support. We'll see you all next week. See ya!